Before we start the video, I would like to take a moment to say thanks to all my patrons. I wouldn't be able to keep doing this without you, so thank you so much for all your support. I'd also like to say thanks to Richter and Joshua for their tier 3 sub this month, and special thanks to James and Modilla for their tier 4 sub this month. In this video, you are going to learn how to add the Rain of Fire spell to the game. Right now, we can simply just select the talents and learn the spell by clicking the talent, but we are not able to click the spell afterwards and place it in the game world. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. We will be able to place it somewhere in the game world when the video is over. To do this, we have to open up the player script and go to the cast spell method. Inside the cast spell method, we will have to change a bit things. We need to change the iCastable here into a spell. So this one doesn't need to be cast anymore. Take the castable and put it there. And then everything should still work as it did before. Then we will need to put a target to open up your spell script and go to the top somewhere and make a private pool called needs target. So this one indicates if this spell needs a target to be able to be, be cast. When that's got done, we can go actually we can make a property from it. So this property here looks like this and it's target. There's already one apparently. Uh, we can remove this. And that's because I renamed I named the property or the field wrong. So we need to target with capital in there. We don't need a set. So we need to create this property here called needs target. And it needs to be backed by the field needs target here, which is serialized. When that's done, we can go back here and make an if statement. So if our castable that needs target is negative or false. Well, if we don't need a target, then we can actually just cast our rain of fire spell. How do you do that? Well, we need a game object here. And let's do it right here. Private game object on used spell. This is my unused spell. Serialize field. Uh, oh, actually, we don't need to serialize that. We just need to set the unused spell at some point. So the unused spell in our case will be the uh, what is it called rain of fire. If I could find it. If I could find this a bit faster. There we go. There. So the unused spell. Equal to instantiate uh, castable. Actually, we're going to rename this one to spell. So spell dot my spell prefab camera dot main screen to world point input. Wow, uh, input dot mouse position, comma, quaternion dot identity. See, instantiate spell prefab, uh, camera dot main screen to world point, input dot mouse position. Quaternion dot identity. There we go. And why is the red squeak line? There's no errors. I think that's just yeah, a lift over. Okay. So when we have that, we can say unuse spell the transform the position equals new vector three. Unuse spell the transform the position dot x. Unuse spell range from the position that y and zero so we just need to set the y value to zero and that is it so now we have the ability to instantiate that what we also have to do is to go out here select our um, spell book somewhere Let's see here casting bar spell book go all the way down here and make sure that the spell prefab here is set to the cloud prefab if you don't have the cloud prefab, then make it out of the cloud you haven't seen. 
When you've done that, you can delete it. And then make sure that you select your spellbook and take the cloud and put it right there as the spell prefab. Okay, with that done, we should be able to place the spell. If I remember to save, I'm not sure now actually. Let's see here. Select, click. If I click now, it places the cloud at my mouse position, but I, I'm not able to move it. It's just going to be spawned there. And that's not very handy, right? So what we also have to do is to go to the update in the players. So let's find that it's the top here. There we go, right here. And inside update, we will have to move the spell around. So we can say if unused spell isn't null. So if the unused spell exists, or if we have an unused spell, what then? Well, then we would like to save it to free mouse position, mouse screen position equals camera dot main screen to well point uh, well point input the mouse position okay so there's the however this call is a bit expensive oh i can't remember if we already made a reference to the camera somewhere Let's see if we have that somewhere uh, yeah okay there so cam so this one is actually somewhere so it's only used right there okay so let's just go to the player again and make a property mm, right here called main cam we can just civilize that field And then we can go back to the game and save, select the player, game world, find the player. There we go. And then find the main camera, main cam there, and set, create the reference. With that done, we can go back to the script and to update and use here main cam instead. So that's cheaper than doing the other thing. Anyway, with that done, we can also say uh, unused spill. Transform the position is new vector free. Mouse position x mouse position y and zero. And save it. Okay, so if we save it now, it should move around and follow the mouse. And there it goes. Now the rain of fire follows the mouse around. However, we can't place it yet anywhere. So let's be able to, let's make sure we can do that. So if unused spell is null, then we can say, well, if input dot get mouse button down zero then we simply say unused spell null for now that's what we do for now so now we should be able to place it somewhere in the game world so we have added all this add it there click here we move around if i click I have placed my rain of fire somewhere in my game world. So now we can place rain of fires here. Of course, it's going to cost mana later and we should make sure we can't just place it. Like if the player is here, we shouldn't be able to place it all the way down here, of course. But these are things we will add later. So now we can actually earn the spell, click the spell and add it to the game. And that's what I want to do in this video. So thank you so much for watching.